Yo, 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 it's your boy Black OG, or as my YouTube channel says, Black OG Jesus. <laughs> Hope you can feel the base of that. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> today's topic will be about. Sorry, that was for the thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, today's topic will basically be about how men will become more valuable in society and uh, you guys are the ones that wanted this video so hopefully you like this video hopefully um, you learn something in this video or who knows maybe you might have the same prediction that I do because this is kind of more of a prediction than anything but it could happen but here's how men will basically become more valuable in society towards like uh, women and such now see the thing with the red pill spreading and more men taking the red pill every day or at least there are some guys taking the purple pill which basically just means they got that red pill knowledge, but um, they got that red pill knowledge, but they're still freaking dating around or some shit like that. And if you're a guy that is doing that, nothing wrong with it. At least to me personally, you uh, <laughs> you might have those freaking hardcore MGTOWs out there. Uh, that'll call you a freaking simp or a beta for dating but personally I think as as long as you don't uh, get married or marry the woman then you're good because you're basically in full control of the relationship you can leave anytime you want so that gives you more power that's another thing uh, guys, well, obviously shouldn't be getting married. Uh, they freaking have more power in just short-term or long-term relationships. And that can also depend on the country or the laws that, uh, or the state you're in as well. Because, um, you know, and some freaking... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure in some states and countries, uh, if you, like, live in a house or an apartment with a woman for more than, like, two years or five years, uh, basically, say if she cheats on you and you guys, like, aren't in a relationship or are in a relationship, she can, uh, and she gets knocked up, she can, uh, charge you for child support. Or let's just say if you guys are, like, roommating, and she's doing her own thing, you're doing your own thing, she gets knocked up, uh, you're doing well for yourself, and all of a sudden, she wants some of that money, so she decides to go up to child support court, say that you guys are in a relationship, and... Bam, you're paying for child support for a kid that ain't even in yours. That's uh, a real, a really good reason why you shouldn't be uh, marrying women, or shoot, not marrying, but roommating with women, especially freaking long term. Uh, and I definitely wouldn't move into a woman's house. Because, say, she also cheats on you. Uh, she can also kick you out anytime. And what if you aren't prepared or don't have enough uh, Benjamin saved up? Uh, I'm sorry that I'm completely getting off topic. But I promise that uh, I'll get to there. <laughs> but anyways, how men will become more valuable in society? women there's a few reasons 
like I said, guys taking the red pill, uh, deciding to go their own way, and say screw relationships completely, and uh, just imagine, like, uh, for all of us young guys out there, uh, just imagine 10, 20, 30 years later, after just living a life of being single, depending on what your job is, uh, and if you have any spending habits or not, basically, your bank account is going to be huge. All these females are going to be looking at you. So there's going to be a lot of freaking single men with money in the future that have no interest in uh, marriage. And they're not going to be celebrities or anything. They're going to just be average guys. Guys that are low-key. Guys like us, you know. And uh, females are going to hate it. But they have really no one to blame except for each other. Because let's be honest. Uh, females are really... Have been pushing men away over the years. But, to be honest, I think it was the, the freaking Me Too movement, hashtag Me Too movement, that really did it, that woke up a lot of men, uh, that uh, a lot of men are just deciding to say, uh, screw college, or screw just working with women, you know? But, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep getting on topic, goddamn. I swear, but how men will become more valuable in society is because there's going to be a lot of females suffering, uh, single, especially in their freaking later years, and you're also going to have a population of men that are basically going to head the transgender route, and when I say that, I don't mean they're going to become a transgender, uh, uh, what I mean is they're basically gonna be either only dating or smashing trans females so that's another huge percentage of men that could be off the dating market for women especially if these transgenders are uh, bringing something into the relationship compared to women who expect you to bring everything, but they only offer their butterfly poon, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, what was I? Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. That's annoying. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, man. There's a freaking. The uh, women are gonna be losing a population of or whatever percentage of men that decide to just go that route so and then there's also the freaking oh well, I've been making multiple videos on it but the trans uh, god damn it I'm such an idiot <laughs> you know what I'm gonna leave that in there <laughs> but uh the freaking AI sex bot harmony um there's gonna be a lot of men going that route. The only thing, the only thing I wonder is the what the percentage will be. I doubt it'll be like eighty percent of all men. Uh, yeah, eighty percent of all men, freaking deciding to go the sex spot, sex spot route. But you know, there's gonna be a lot of guys. I think. Me personally, I think there might be 15. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure I put it in a post. I, I think I said like 30 to 60 percent. But personally, I, what I actually think, I think it's going to be like 15 to 40 percent. And that's honestly, that's a lot. And uh, even if it even if Harmony took away a small population, uh, just imagine if Harmony <clears throat> took
took away the population of men that are giving these women free validation, free dates, uh, your beautiful text. Oh, and uh, one of the most important ones, money, paying bills, paying their bills with nothing, uh, without giving nothing in return. Uh, no freaking, no more freaking free online validation from uh, dating apps because what would be the point of guys doing that? What would be the point of guys freaking uh, going on a dating app when they can just buy a sex bot, uh, bust nuts all over it? It never ages. You don't have to worry about it cheating. And uh, one of the important ones is you can actually say that you hit it yourself. Not a lot. Not many guys can say uh, with their chick that uh, only I've been with this chick because nowadays all these females they're they're literally ran through. And they're starting off at a young age. Like, some females will have sex um, at, like, the age 18. Some will have it uh, 17, 16. I've had females that um, that I've worked with. Uh, they, they, the young females, right? They're, like, 16. 17 they just told me uh, basically that they didn't want to wait and you know I, I didn't say nothing or react to it but and these are pretty females of course so I'm just thinking to myself uh, it's a damn shame because you were this damn close to freaking being able to marry a rich man. A lot, a lot of females mess up is uh, they want to get ran through at a young age. Like I said, uh, 17, 16, 15. You've even got uh, those 12 through, oh, more like 11 through freaking 14 year old thoughts. And it's horrible because they're dressing like they're old ass women. And what I mean like when and what I mean is like twenty one year old ass women. So you can't tell the difference. <coughs> it's pretty crazy. You can't <coughs> I bumped into a few young females and I found out that they were freaking really young and I was like, God damn. Uh they look like they're freaking in their 20s or late teens but they're actually in their early teens and it's like oh gosh yeah I better stay away from all of these bitches but um I'm sorry I keep getting off topic but it all it all freaking relates and that's another thing uh females who lie about their age and then men getting jailed for it Men don't have to worry about that shit with freaking sex bots. But uh, anyways, what I was talking about with the sex bots is just imagine the freaking... All these men that are just sending women money, paying their bills, uh, giving them free drinks on... Uh, uh, in freaking bars or pubs or shit like that. That's going to be gone. Those men, gone. Uh, men giving freaking, like I said, men giving freaking free money or paying bills, gone. Man. What do these females have after that? Because I've seen so many articles, I've seen so many videos where females, they basically just admit, uh, they go on they go on freaking dating apps and such to get either a free meals or b dick and then 
they have men freaking paying. They have sugar daddies, or they use things like OnlyFans uh, to pay their rent. So not just that. They they barely have to freaking work for any. I mean, just look at all these. I think there was literally one female who made like 80000 I can't remember her name, but she's not important. Anyways, I think that's the end of the video, really. Uh, transgenders, the red pill spreading, men deciding not to freaking get into dating relationships or short-term relationships or anything at all or guys who just don't want to marry. I think that'll make, in society, I think that'll make men more valuable in the long run since all these females are going to be suffering because, you know, their rent isn't getting paid by some beta or they are freaking getting thousands upon thousands of uh, messages on multiple apps from guys, thirsty guys, who these females know they would never give the time of day because they're just regular or they don't have the money or the status, which is the problem with these females, but they shall reap what they sow, especially when harmony comes out. <laughs> Oh gosh, things are gonna be real interesting when Harmony comes out. I I tell you, man, just wait. And when I talk about sex dolls, or some people might imagine just a lifeless doll that just lays there, and it feels real and it looks real. Those aren't the sex dolls I'm personally interested in or want. If you are, that's what's up. If you, if you do that, you do your thing, man. But uh, the ones I'm talking about, or the sex dolls I'm talking about, are uh, embedded with freaking artificial intelligence. And they're going to be able to freaking move around, cook, clean, take care of your kids. Uh, sex anytime you want and the best part about it is you don't have to freaking spend money on the goddamn bot after having sex or take her out on an overpriced date or buy an outfit for her unless you just want to but yeah I can I can see a lot of guys honestly well not a lot but I can see uh, a percentage of guys that are so and love with their sex bots that they're literally marrying them. Now me that to me that's weird, but you do you. This is a judge free channel. But yeah. Uh sorry I kept getting off topic, but like I said, this is how men will become valuable more valuable in society because females the average female isn't gonna be getting attention not not compared to today's females uh, the average female who's uh, in her prime sexual market value she's not gonna be getting as much attention not compared to today's females because not only will she be competing against women who are trying to backstab her or maybe misguide her so they can take her man or take the man that they're aiming for they're also going to be competing against like I said transgenders if men are down for that uh, and if you're down for that cool for you if you're in a relationship with one and you're happy uh, good for you. Happy to hear that, man. Uh, and honestly, in my personal opinion, the biggest competition women are going to be having is against freaking robotic versions of themselves. So I think that's pretty funny. 
But uh, yeah, that's how men will become more valuable in society. Let me know what you think about the video. Hit that like button. And I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I obviously have no notes for this video. I'm just doing this straight from the dome. I'm just speaking. Uh, speaking and predicting. Uh, how things might happen. I could be wrong. I could be right. Or I could be half wrong, half right. You never know, right? Uh, but yeah, things are certainly going to be interesting in the future. Especially when the artificial womb comes out. So, that will be very interesting. Because not only will men be able to have kids without women. They can do that with transgenders. They can do that with the robots. And shoot, women can even do that with, uh, with each other. So, it's not like men can freaking just, uh, completely replace women. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course we can. With, with all the shit that's coming out in the future, oh my god. But in the... Gosh, I can't even get the words out, man. I just think I'm going to end the video. I hope you like the video. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> but uh, catch you next one. Peace.